morning, everyone. Today, I will present the summary of our study, the epidemic of substandard and falsified medications in developing country, evaluating the effectiveness of national pharmacovigilance alerts to community pharmacies. My name is Dr. Adi Aziz Jumaili. I'm a faculty member at the University of Baghdad College of Pharmacy. I received my PhD in pharmaceutical socioeconomic from the University of Iowa in 2017, and also my uh, master in public health from the University of Iowa College of Public Health in 2017. So at the beginning, we need to define the substandard medicine. The substandard medications are those genuine medications that enter the country via an official way, so they are not tested, they are not registered. While falsified medications, they are counterfeit medication, may don't have active ingredients. So what are the consequences of the SF medications? They endanger patient health, prolong illness, increase morbidity and mortality, promote antibacterial resistance, undermine the confidence between patient and healthcare providers, and create distrust between the physician pharmacist and the patient, and also provide income to the uh, smugglers. So the aim of our study was to evaluate the uh, impact of Iraqi pharmacovigilance alerts of the SF medication on the private sector. Secondly, to explore the reason of those SF medications, and finally, to find solutions. Subject and methods, our study was qualitative, a mixed method study. We started with qualitative phase. We ended up with quantitative quantitative phase. So we, ha we had three sources on, of information, Iraqi pharmacovigilance report, interviews with pharmaceutical company representative, and survey with community pharmacists. The qualitative phase done through a Zoom interview with the 12 participants of pharmaceutical company representative, while the quantitative phase done through the Facebook, we distributed survey using Qualtrics between April and May 2020. So um, the main results we found, uh, according to Iraq pharmacovigilance reports, most of the reports medicine were, uh, were substandard, those called parallel. The majority were parallel. Majority about brand medications. The main reason of those substandard falsified medicine were the lower prices of those substandard falsified medications and availability of registered medications. Also, the lengthy process of Minister of Health drug registration, pharmacies try to attract low-income patients, high profitability of drug store, inadequate public awareness, and inadequate pharmacist awareness. So as you can see, the uh, medicine with the sticker, they are registered medicine. The other ones, they are substandard or falsified medications. So in, uh, in spite of majority of pharmacists haven't received training, they were able to identify those SF medication. Unfortunately, more than half, they were not willing to report those medication to Iraqi Pharmacovigilance Center. So from where they received training, mostly from pharmaceutical companies. How they became aware about Iraqi Pharmacovigilance alerts through Iraqi Pharmacy Syndicate website or Facebook. So the, the package, the sticker, uh, the price helped them to identify SF medications. So in conclusion, those SF medications, they are multifaceted problems. We need collaboration with more than one entity, Minister of Health, Iraqi, Iraqi uh, Pharmacy Syndicate, and Minister of Interior. So we need to enhance patient safety. At the, at the end, I would like to thank my co-author, uh, uh, Dr. Menal and Mina Zia to, to help me in this project. And hopefully we can minimize the substandard of falsified medications to enhance our patient safety, because as you know, they have less active, uh, activity and, more, and less safety than the registered medications. And thank you so much for Iraqi Pharmacy Syndicate for inviting me uh, to present my research and hopefully we can do more research uh, in this uh, in the future thank you so much dr ali ajumaini have a good day